Though the state legislature is a ways off from working on the next budget, school nurses from around Wisconsin are starting their advocacy now. New at 10, Grace Alch has you covered on the conversation school nurses had with lawmakers to explain what their day to day looks like and how the state could help them help students. School nurses from across the state made their way to the Capitol Tuesday to start conversations with lawmakers about how to provide better health care in schools. There's a perception that a lot of what school nurses do has to do with you know, ice packs and band-aids and lice, and it's so much more complex than that. Jamie Trebatuski is the president of the Wisconsin Association of School Nurses. She says when it comes time to organize the next state budget, she hopes the legislature takes a look at the reimbursement rate for school-based medical services. In this state is a complete outlier in the percentage of reimbursement that we're getting. So um, usually the state might take 15 percent off the top. Right now they're taking 40. The nurses at the Capitol Tuesday say increasing this reimbursement percentage is not only good for nurses, but good for schools. Increasing the revenue that schools can get back for services that school nurses bill for only brings money back into the schools. It only helps our students overall. You need healthy students to be able to learn. If they are not well, they are not learning. The nurses with the WASN say they know no legislation will be written in the near future. Tuesday was just the first step in the process towards better funding for medical professionals in schools. Along with psychologists, counselors, physical therapists, these, these are non-negotiable roles that children need access to every day. They need a nurse in their building that can help remove those barriers for students who need that in order to access their education fairly. In Madison, Grace Salch, 27 News.